In this tutorial, we will teach you how to identify different fonts. For this tutorial, we will be using three different sources. First of all, we will be using a Google Chrome extension, so let's open up the Chrome Web Store from the browser. Over here, we will search for what font, and we'll be using this particular extension. This application basically helps us to identify what font is being displayed in the text. So let's add this extension on the browser first. Once the extension has been installed, let's open up any website on a new tab. Before we can use the extension, we have to activate it first. For that, simply click on the application icon over here. Now whenever you hove over the text, the font used for the text will be displayed like so. The second way to identify a font is by using a web service called What the Font. For that, you would have to log on to myfonts.com and click on the What the Font option from the menu. What this service does is identify the font through the image, and you can either upload the image file or paste the URL here. For this tutorial, we will choose the first option. Over here, we've already taken a screenshot of the page we visited earlier and pasted it in Microsoft Paint. Now we will crop out the heading portion. With that done, let's save the file and move back to the website. Over here, click on the Choose File button and select the image file from the browsing window. With that done, simply click on Continue. In the next page, you will be required to manually input all the characters and letters being highlighted in the images above each box. With that done, simply click on Continue. Now you'll be displayed with the results that match the image of the text you uploaded. And over here, you can see that the first result is the same font family that was identified previously using the Google Chrome extension. Moving on, the third way you can identify a font is by using another website called identifont.com. When you enter the website, you have basically four ways in which you can search for a font. The first is if you know part of the name of a particular font. The other is if you know which font it resembles to. The third is if you know a particular symbol that is included in the font family. And lastly, if you know who designed the font. All options are good ways for identifying a font, but let's say you don't have a clue about any of these four things. That's where this website comes in handy, because by answering questions that are displayed on the left corner of the page, you can narrow down your search. For example, are the characters serif or sans serif? You are even provided with images in case you don't know the difference between the two. Next, which style is the uppercase tail for the letter Q, and so on. As you keep on answering these questions, the popular matches section displays what fonts match your answers. Furthermore, you can even see the font style in this section over here, so it gets easier to determine which font you're looking for. And that's it. Thanks for watching. This was a howtech.tv tutorial.